Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I created these epoxy free ombre leopard style pens. I did use Bright Tone from the Crystalac company to glitter and seal these pens. So if that's something that you're interested in, please continue watching. As always, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask down in the comment section. I do upload a video every Thursday, so please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. The first thing I'm going to do is prep my pens. I'm going to be using these Paper Mate Enjoy pens. I'll link everything that I use down in the video description box. Um, and the first thing you're going to want to do is take the pen apart. In total, you're going to have four pieces, the tip, the, the ink, and then the two pieces from the back um, of the clicker. Make sure you are um, storing them safely um, so that when it comes time to assemble your pen, reassemble your pen, um, you won't have any mi missing pieces. I am then going to go in with some pliers and remove um, the clip. The and then in using an X-Acto knife, I'm going to take off as much of the pen clip um, that was left over after I removed it, um, take most of it off. And then using a 220 grit um, sanding block, I'm going to go ahead and sand that down. This is the what I'm using now is a 220 um, sanding, sanding paper and I'm going to first go in with a 220 just to be sure that my pen is well sanded um, and sand the whole pen. Here I'm going to go in with a 400 grit sanding paper just to kind of smooth out the pen. The 220 grit did leave the pen a little bit rough. So I'm just going in with the 400 grit to kind of smooth everything out. Next you're going to want to base coat your pens. I'm going to be using spray paint to go ahead and base coat my pens. Um, I'm going to be doing um, a two color ombre spray painting on my pens. On the top I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum um, in Black Canyon. That's the name of the spray paint that I'm using up at the top. And then down at the bottom, I'm going to be using this satin vintage blush from Rust-Oleum. And as I mentioned, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of do like an ombre effect um, with both spray paints. I'm kind of just trying to match my base coat color to the glitters that I'm going to be using. Matching your base coat to your glitter helps with only needing one coat of glitter. This applies to cups or anything that you're doing, cups or pens or Starbucks cups. Um, matching your base color um, is essential when you're trying to only do one coat of glitter. Matching your base coat um, to your glitter helps with only needing one coat. So that's why here I'm matching my glitter since I'm going to be doing a black and rose gold ombre. I chose the black spray paint along with this um, vintage blush that kind of matched to the rose, rose gold color of glitter that I'm going to be using. After spray painting my pens, I did allow them to off gas for 48 hours. This is important when you're using any solvent based product. Um, before you use Bright Tone, you want to allow it to off gas for 48 hours. So this is what Bright Tone looks like. This is what I'm going to be using to glitter and seal my pens with. Bright Tone is a water-based non-toxic top coat. It is an epoxy alternative. And since it's non-toxic, um, no personal protective equipment is needed when using it unless you are spraying or sanding the product. It does have a 30 day cure time, but after five to seven days, you can use the pen or the cup or whatever you're using um, Bright Tone with. You can use it after five to seven days, of course, following proper care instructions. So now that my pens have gassed off, I'm gonna go ahead and glitter them. To glitter them, I'm going to be using Bright Tone. And I'm going to be using my regular cup spinner to spin my pens. 
And all I'm going to do is just put a rubber band on it and that's going, going to hold my pens in place. To glitter my pens, I'm going to be using um, this black glitter that I mix. I mix two glitters. Um, right now I don't have the two glitters on hand, but if anybody is interested in the names of the two glitters that I mixed, um, Send me a message down in the comments and I'll look for them for you. And then the rose gold color is rose gold from my collection that I purchased at Michael's. To glitter my pens, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to go ahead and use Bright Tone. I transferred my Bright Tone from the big gallon jug to a condiment bottle. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a small amount of Bright Tone to my pen. And using my finger, I'm just going to go ahead and spread that out and make sure that the entire pen is covered in bright tone now that my pen is covered in bright tone i'm going to go ahead and glitter it using the black glitter first i'm adding the black glitter to the top part of the pen and i'm going to go ahead and just ombre the black glitter going downward to do that, I'm just lightly tapping on the glitter and tilting my pen downward. I am then going to go in with the rose gold color and I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the bottom part of the pen. Just kind of tilt the pen downward a little bit and using one finger, just tap on the glitter a little bit above the midpoint area and that makes the perfect ombre effect. Once my pen is glittered, I'm going to go ahead and put it on my spinner and allow it to spin for an hour and then dry for an additional three hours to total four hours of dry time. Then I'm just here, I'm just continuing to um, repeat the same process to glitter the rest of my pens. Now that my pens have dried for four hours, I'm going to go ahead and seal and flatten my glitter using E6000 spray. I am going to go ahead and add a spray to my pens. After spraying, I am going to wait uh, 30 to 40 minutes before I go ahead and um, flatten down my glitter using parchment paper. So I'm going to go ahead and add spray my pens and then I'm going to allow them to dry for 30 to 40 minutes while on the spinner. Here I have an extra pink pen that's not in the video that I was also working on so just ignore it. <laughs> After the 30 to 40 minutes I'm going to go ahead and roll my pens in parchment paper. Sorry that I go off frame a little bit here um, but I'm just using regular parchment paper and I'm just rolling my pens in the parchment paper using my hand and just kind of pressing down on the table to just kind of flatten down the glitter as much as I could. This helps with the overall amount of coats that you're going to need. It flattens down the glitter as much as possible and then this helps reduce the amount of coats that you're going to need since the um, glitter is laying as flat as possible. After I go ahead and do this to all my pens, I'm going to go ahead and add them back on my spinner. I then repeat this process all over again. Um, I spray them one more time and then I go ahead and wait the 30 to 40 minutes and then I roll them again in parchment paper. Um, and then after that, I just spray them one last time. And then after I do that, I go ahead and just allow them to dry for a couple hours since um, it was a couple of E6000 sprays. I just let them dry for three to four hours or sometimes even overnight just to make sure that my pens are fully dry so that I can start coating them with bright tone. So here that they're fully dry, I'm going to go ahead and start coating them with bright tone. They're sealed with my E6000 spray and there's no glitter fallout. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, coating them with my bright tone. 
Just adding a thin coat of bright tone to each one of my pens. Um, each coat is added the same, just a thin coat, just enough to where the pen isn't dripping. And then I'm going to add it to my spinner and allow it to spin for an hour and then dry for an additional three hours to total four hours of dry time. And I didn't record each coat that I gave my pens um, since each coat is added the same. But I coat every four hours and I sand every three coats. So this is after the third coat of bright tone. I'm going to go ahead and sand down my pens using 400 grit sanding paper. And I am sanding outside. It is important to sand every three coats. Um, that way it helps smoothen out your pens and this helps with the overall amount of coats that your pens are going to need to achieve a glossy pen. So now um, bringing them back inside, I'm going to go ahead and continue coating them with bright tone. After sanding, you're going to continue coating your pens. Um, just add a thin coat of bright tone and then um, go ahead and add the pen to your spinner. You're going to let it spin for an hour and then dry for an additional three hours to total four hours of dry time. If you're not going to add a decal to your pen, you can go ahead and continue coating until you are satisfied with your gloss finish. If you are going to add a decal, you want to continue coating until your pen is smooth enough for a decal. You don't want to add any decals to your pen if your pen is still bumpy from the glitter. Um, just make sure that your pen is smooth enough to where you can add a decal. After my fifth coat of bright tone, my pens were smooth enough for a decal. So here I'm adding the name. The um, font that I used here for the names is I Love Glitter Mist from Defont.com. And the swatches are from, they come with the font I Love Glitter, also from Defont.com. And then the leopard print, I'm going to also be adding to my pens, to the rose gold part of the pen. To cut the names as well as the leopard prints, I use my Cricut Explorer 2. To add the leopard prints, I just went ahead and cut out a bunch of small leopard prints and I'm going to go ahead and add it to the rose gold part of my pen in no specific spot, just randomly adding it to that part of the pen in a random spot. So after I add all the decals to my pens, I did continue coating with Bright Tone until I was satisfied with my gloss finish. I did coat my pens until my decals were completely covered and my pens were really glossy. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to take a second and thank you guys so much for helping my channel reach 8,000 subscribers. I recently hit 8,000 subscribers and I couldn't thank you guys enough. When I first started this channel, I didn't expect to get any views or any subscribers to my channel. I just wanted to make a few videos um, to go ahead and help people get started on epoxy free tumbler making. Somewhere where I could share my tips and my tricks that I've learned along the way. All the comments, all the views and the likes on my videos, you guys motivate me to continue making more content for you guys where I can share my knowledge and help you guys out. Um, if you guys can follow me on Instagram, I want to be able to interact more with you guys. If you ever um, followed along any of my videos and created anything, um, go ahead and tag me in that. I want to go ahead and see what you guys make. I also want, I'm interested in what you guys make or sell. Um, I want to be able to interact a little bit more with you guys. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And yeah, thank you guys so much for all the love, guys.